Uh, how are we doing for time? Not that great. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I mentioned uh, that I do linguistics, mathematics, and microbiology. Um, I don't do microbiology. If you're interested in that, Tim the virologist has a shadow event in about four hours, I think. Um, but I do have a degree in linguistics and a degree in mathematics. Um, so I have a poem about learning and learning French. I used to live in Switzerland. I would go to Paris once a year to meet people I knew from the internet. And I was quite good at, uh, at reading and writing French, but not very confident at speaking it. So this is how that went. I find the words to make a distant friend and check them 20 times before I send an error checking code in every bite. We find a space in meet space we can meet. I shuffle past and only see my feet. For you I know by words and not by sight. I linger and pretend that I'm not there. You find me in the end, but I'll not dare to speak the words I only know to write. No sooner are they loud enough to hear I go back in my shell for one more year. We meet again, I recognize your face, but still can't find the words to match your pace. They're crushed in scattered pauses far too tight. I watch your word fights, watch you shoot the breeze. I savor each repost at each reprise, but when they're aimed at me, I flee in fright. But battles one by one will turn to chances. I creep along the tunnel by advances and start to see a distant shaft of light. But with my light, that light, I see my train appear and go back to my home for one more year. When next we meet, I'm not so far behind. I speak whenever something comes to mind. I know your mouth just speaks, it doesn't bite. I speak before I've checked it 20 times. I do a shadow show before I've found some better rhymes. It doesn't matter if it isn't right. For 10 mistakes, I say a dozen things. So why not flap my tongue and flap my wings? I take the plunge and try to take a flight and whack into a wall. It's very clear. I'll still be in this cage for one more year. So then I moved to Vienna and um, I, the first thing I did was take the Delft C1 test to prove that I could speak French before I forgot everything and learned German, and I did pretty well on it. So I added this little addendum. I don't succeed in trusting that my best is good enough until I take the test and get a large percentage of it right. I have the proof to save me from my fear. Too bad I moved away from there last year. <laughs> 